hopefully one day 2K will actually do a proper remake because I think people should experience the story. <laughs> It's crazy to think just a few months after my video, 2K released a proper remake for the original Mafia game. Now obviously, they have been developing it way before I made that video, but still, what are the odds? And ever since the announcement and release, I've been getting comments on every single video to talk about the remake. So without further ado, this is Mafia Definitive Edition. Developed by Hangar 13, developers of Mafia 3, we see the original Mafia brought back to life with updated visuals, gameplay, and storytelling. As you can see, the game uses the Mafia 3 engine, which can produce some great cutscenes. The open worlds can honestly look fantastic too, especially at night when it's raining. The graphics aren't all praiseworthy though, some NPCs look like they came straight out of the 2002 game, there are a few visual bugs and glitches, and some animations, especially when climbing objects, are not the best. But for the most part the game looks and runs pretty good. It's also worth noting Mafia Definitive Edition released for 40 US dollars, so I can't really complain about the visuals too much, especially when it's all been updated. Gameplay is just what I asked for. Gunplay feels responsive and realistic with some guns having terrible recoil and there's a proper cover system. I know some people will complain that the game is more streamlined now, but this was definitely the right approach for new players. I mean, the game can be just as challenging when you're playing on harder classic. Trust me, that racing mission was just as annoying as it was in the original. Speaking of that mission, driving is just as good. It's super hard to take turns, and it's easy to lose control when driving at high speeds. For me, Mafia as an entire series always nails the driving. I will admit, it's pretty strange to see Vito and Lincoln's car in this game. It's obviously not realistic, but it is pretty fun to drive them around in Lost Heaven. There are a few customization options for vehicles, but unfortunately not as much as Mafia 3, but it's still nice to have some options. Also, props to Hangar 13 for bringing back the Car Cyclopedia. From here, you can view the various cars in the game with their stats and test drive them on the racetrack if you want. Some small details from the original game have returned, like receiving police tickets and getting gas for your car, although these have no real impact on the game. You basically have unlimited money, so if you have to pay for a ticket, it really doesn't matter but at least they have these small things. Unfortunately, some details are missing though. You can no longer enter trains as the area is just blocked off completely, and the same goes for the trams in the open world. Why? If a game from 2002 had these features, why can't you do it in 2020? That's one thing that definitely was disappointing to see. With that said, they did add something I really did enjoy. There's a radio host that talks throughout the game, and it just makes the world feel more alive. This host also mentions Empire Bay and New Bordeaux, which was a nice touch and makes these games feel even more connected. Now let's talk about the story, something that the Mafia series also gets right, in my opinion. With this remake, there are a few changes, and most are for the better, but there is one that sort of annoyed me, and people have mentioned it. But before we get to that, let's start with the good. The voice acting from the entire cast is way better. Mafia 1's voice acting was not very good, at least in the English version of the game, so this has been updated very nicely. A lot of side characters have updated dialogue, and I feel like Sarah got some of the biggest and best changes. She's now more familiar about the mob life, she's been helping out at Salieri since she was a kid, and she just has more dialogue. I honestly like what they did with basically every character like Sam, Vincenzo, and Salieri. But there is one weird change. At the start of the game, they changed and removed some important cutscenes. When Tommy's being chased by Morello's guys, in the original game, he hides in the bar and those pursuers get shot. He realizes it's probably best to work with Celieri because of the money, and it wouldn't be smart driving around in a cab while Morello is after him. So he wants to join the family, and his first mission is assigned to him by Celieri. But in the remake, Polly and Sam threaten the goons and they run off. 
Tommy's then just introduced into the family, and instead of being ordered by Celieri to get revenge, Tommy demands to do it. In my opinion, they change this outcome because they want to make it seem like Tommy has initiative and goes above and beyond, but in doing so, it makes him joining the Mafia just feel rushed. Some people will like this character change, some people won't, but it definitely threw me off guard at first. Literally, each mission has something different and changed from the original game, so if I were to go over everything, we would probably be here for another 30 minutes. Like I said though, I honestly like most of the story changes, with the exception of that one. When you finish the story, you can check out free ride mode, where you can customize clothing options, find secret cars, and gold guns. But that's about it, and for a $40 game, that's perfectly fine. I honestly really enjoyed playing through the remake, it's challenging, it's fun, and the story is mostly improved. The soundtrack is great, those annoying car horns are great, and Sarah is especially great. Also, if you do plan on picking up this game, I definitely recommend turning the HUD off as it's a lot more immersive. Honestly, props to 2K for creating a remake, selling it for $40, and giving proper credit to Illusion Softworks in the opening and credit section of the game. As for Hangar 13, I'm cautiously waiting for their next proper game. I'm assuming it's going to be Mafia 4, and hopefully they learned a lot from Mafia 3, and of course, this remake. Anyways though, thank you all so much for watching. Definitely check out my content on the other Mafia games if you haven't already. Links will be provided in the description down below. As always, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all later.